Hello everybody, I'm here to read you a little story and I want you to have a look at the cover, you know, the first page in a book, it's called the cover and I want you to think about what the story might be about. Do you think it's about a, an aeroplane? Do you think it's about a girl? Think about it. Oh, you're right. I think it's about a duck. And the title is The Ugly Duckling. That's the title of the story. Let's begin. Once upon a time, there was a mother duck who had seven little ducklings. Six of them were soft and fluffy and yellow and said, quack, 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 quack. The seventh duckling was quite different. He was gray and spiky and had a long neck and could only say, Onk, onk, onk. The other ducklings called him ugly. He tried hard to be like them, but the other ducklings never played with him. His mother would shake her head. Quack, quack, are you sure you are mine? She said, quack. You are a funny sort of duck. One day, they all swam over to visit the ducks on the other side of the river. The ugly duckling, as always, followed far behind. The other big ducks hissed and pecked at him. Go away, they quacked. We don't like you, you are not much of a duck, but onk, onk, was all the sad little duckling could say. That night, as the other ducks slept, the ugly duckling swam far away and hid in some reeds by a pond. Onk, no one wants me, he sniffed. An old cat came prowling along. Meow, what sort of bird are you? She asked. I'm a duckling, onk, replied the only duckling. Meow, funny sort of duck, said the cat, and she crept off to hunt for mice. The weather grew colder, but the ugly duckling stayed all alone by the little pond. One bright day, he saw some beautiful white birds with long necks flying high overhead. Onk! he called out to them. Where are you going? Far away, south, where it's warm, they called back. Come, fly with us. The ugly duckling skidded across the water. Wait for me, he honked, but he wasn't ready to fly yet. And the white birds flew on far, far away. Before long, winter came. Snow fell and there was ice on the pond. The ugly duckling had no mother to snuggle up against and keep him warm. Onk, onk, he said to himself, I'm so unhappy. Then, one bright morning, 
He woke up to find the snow and ice had melted and the world was green again, feeling strong. He tried his wings. They had grown through the winter and he soared up easily from the pond into the clear blue sky. Onk, 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 he cried in excitement. Onk, onk. He flew on over the land, following the shape of the big river in the spring sunshine. See how... High he was flying. He could see all the river. Soon the days grew longer and warmer, for summer had come. One day he saw the beautiful white birds again. The ugly duckling flew down and landed near them on the swimmer, shimmering water. Onk, said the beautiful birds. Hello, come and swim with us here. There is plenty to eat. They all plunk their long necks into the water. Onk, onk, who, me, said the ugly duckling. Swim with you. But I'm just an ugly duckling. No one wants me. The white birds all laughed. <laughs> you're not ugly and you are not a duckling at all, they said. You are a young swarm, just like us. Look at yourself in the water. And you will see. The ugly duckling looked down all into the water and saw his own reflection. His feathers were now a brilliant white all over. He had a long neck and a bright gold and black beak. He was a swan just like the others. He honked happily. It didn't matter now that he couldn't quack. The swans gathered around him. Welcome, they said. So the once ugly duckling, who had grown into a beautiful swan, flew away with the other swans over the blue water and lived happily ever after. And that's the end. What a lovely story. The ugly duckling, in the end, it wasn't a duckling at all. It was a lovely, beautiful swan. Can you move your arms as if they were wings. Imagine that you've got long wings like the swan did, did. And now I want you to think, I want you to talk to an adult next to you or whoever is around you and talk about what was your favorite part of the story. What did you like the most? And even you could, you could draw your favorite part and use your sounds to label your drawing. For example, if you draw a duck, what would be the first sound? D, 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 that's right. I hope you liked it. See you very soon. Bye bye reception.